So last weekend, a little bleary-eyed, a little tired, I stumbled towards Trade Deck and just put out this little Apple note in maybe about five minutes on Twitter and was absolutely shocked that this tweet blew up to more than six figures in impressions in a matter of 48 hours. And I think the reason why so many people across Twitter and across the internet responded to this was because it really struck a chord. We are inundated with so much fake trading information on YouTube that I thought it was really high time to kind of filter out and tell you what's true and what's not when it comes to trading. And I'll tell you the number one clue that somebody is full of crap and has never traded a thing in their life is if they show off things instead of discussing their trades. This 100% fake. That is 100% fake. You don't trade from a hammock on a beach. You don't trade from your private plane sipping champagne. And you certainly don't uh, run in a Lamborghini. You know what the real traders do all day long? This is what they do. They sit here, stare in front of their screens, mostly on their Bloombergs, and they look for trade opportunities. This guy over here sitting in, on the front desk is worth about a billion times more than all those uh, YouTube gurus combined. In fact, probably maybe 10 billion times more than all those YouTube gurus combined. And you can see, he's not sitting in a Lamborghini. He's sitting in a plain uh, pants, a little bit of a sweater, with a whole bunch of screens behind him because he is a real trader, and that's how you know. A second way that I know somebody is full of crap when they talk about trading is when they claim that they have a 70% accuracy strategy with a two to one risk reward strategy. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Now the second way I know that somebody is full of crap when they talk about trading is when they claim to you that they have a 70% accurate strategy with a two to one risk reward ratio. I'm going to show you right now why that is total, unadulterated, complete, 100% bullshit. Okay, the guy tells you this. Let's run the numbers. Let's say he's a retail trader. He's got a $10,000 account. And let's make him very much like in a realistic scenario. We're going to say he's going to trade 10 trades a day, and he's going to risk 1%, just $100, on every single trade. And he's got such a marvelous, unbelievably accurate strategy that he's going to win 7 out of 10 of those trades um, and he's going to collect $200 for every $100 that he gambles. At the end of the day, this incredible superman of trading has suddenly made $1,100 on his $10,000 account. And at the end of the year, that $10,000 has turned into more than a quarter of a million. All right, if you believe that, then I have a bridge to sell you, as we say in New York City. That is complete and total bullshit. The truth of the matter is, trading is always a trade-off. It's a trade-off between very, very inaccurate, but highly, highly rewarding trades, where you could miss five, six, 10, 11, 12 times in a row, but then hit something that's 20x to one, or you're gonna collect money all day long, all day long, all day long, and then get hit for a massively big size. You basically trade the lottery model or the insurance model, okay? There is no perfect model in trading. And you better know what you're gonna start trading and how you trade that. But the 70% at two to one risk reward ratio is the absolute number one tell when I'm listening to somebody on a podcast that they are absolutely F-O-S. Now, a third way that I know somebody is fake is when they start talking about trading as a business. You know, it's like it's just like owning a donut store. It's like owning a restaurant. It's like owning a bar. I'm going to have an annuity every single day. I collect. My favorite is the collecting collecting income from from options. Like like you know like you're uh, basically a, a, a guy who owns who owns a house. Let me tell you, trading is not a business. Trading has never been a business. Trading is never about making income, because in no other business does your house or your donut store or your restaurant get burned down or robbed every other day because that's what the markets do. The markets are not a freaking business. They're a casino and they're designed to take money out of your hand, not give it to you. 
So if anybody starts talking to you about how they're using their trading as a business, they're full of crap because markets are a game of risk, not a game of income. And the people who are good at it are always talking about how they love playing the game, not about how much money they're making. You know how I know that? Because all of this is 100, 1 million, 1 trillion percent fake. Because the people who really make the billions in the market never talk about the money they're making. This guy over here is 93 years old in the corner of, of, of the uh, slide, and he still trades the market. The guy on the right of him is a little older than me. He's in his 60s, and he still trades the market. And this guy below owns the New York Mets, and he still trades the market. Now, all of these guys have enough money for a billion lifetimes. So why, if money is the issue, are they trading the market? Because they love the game. Jack Schwager, who has interviewed more traders in his life than probably anybody else, said that Every one of them was different. They had different personalities, different strategies, different tactics. Everything was different except one unifying trait. All the successful traders he knew loved the market, loved the game. And that is how you know somebody is a real trader. Now, the other interesting thing is that if you ask somebody not how great their strategy is, but how risky is it? Like, where are the risks in your strategy? Can you tell me what are the pitfalls? Can you tell me where do you struggle? Can you tell me how your strategy can go wrong? And if they can't articulate that for you in two seconds, or if they tell you, oh, the biggest part of my strategy is it doesn't make as much money in a down market as it does in an up market. It's kind of like, you know, the, the humble brag, you know, the biggest, my biggest uh, mis uh, flaw is I'm just too loving towards other people. That's, you know, the, the equivalent of the BS line that they give you. If they give you any line like that, 100% fake because real traders can tell you instantly all the risk of their strategy and real traders never lie about their flaws. So make money trading stocks, Forex, no, that's all bullshit. This is Stevie Cohen. He's worth billions of dollars, ran probably one of the smartest hedge funds in the world, eight $500 million loss with Melvin Capital and was certainly honest enough to admit that it was a big, big, hurtful sting to him. That's a real trader because real traders talk about their losses as easily as they talk about their wins. And the last thing I think is really interesting and the, and the way you could tell somebody's full of crap is if all they do is post YouTube videos of past events. It's extremely easy. I can design a strategy that will look perfect on any chart in the past. Don't ever show me a chart in the past. Don't ever show me an example from the past. Don't ever show me how brilliant you are in analyzing yesterday's data. Show me what you're doing right now. Show me your account. Show me your trade right now or live trade. I live trade every single day on real market prices, win, lose, or draw. Everybody who hangs out in the room with me sees me entering trades live every single day. And winning, losing, crying, cursing, doing all the uh, normal things that traders do. If you're not willing to show what you do, you're not a real trader. And anybody who shows you the past, shows you beautiful charts, shows you beautiful setups, and then brags about how they entered into this trade or they entered into that trade, they're full of crap. So that to me is a way you can tell real traders from fake traders. And my Pomeranian in the background agrees. Boris Schlossberg, over and out.